In today's video, what we're going to do is show you basically how to use the rectangular the pattern in, in a part. So the rectangular pattern in the part doesn't just do uh, you know, sort of a pattern in, in a certain direction, you know, a direction that you specify. It can also do a pattern along a part. Um, and I'm going to show you that as well as how to manipulate the pattern so that if you have a curved surface as you see here on the screen, um, it's able to cut through all of it uh, without terminating at a premature distance. So the first thing we're going to do is just take a look at the rectangular pattern. Um, and I'm going to select that and we're going to pattern this hole over here. So I'm going to select the hole. And in the rectangular pattern, it allows us to select either individual features or an entire uh, solid. So if you are working in solid uh, body modeling, you can go and, um, and, and select that as well. So choosing direction one, you can either select a face. And by selecting the face, it will we'll take the pattern in the normal direction of that face. Or you can select a, a, a vert, uh, an edge, sorry. Or you can go into your origin and select one of the predefined axes. So it's probably a good idea to you know, use one of the predefined axes over here um, or one of the planes. Um, as you know that those will never never move. So there you can see I've got four of them. Uh, you'll specify how many you need. So maybe four. Actually, no, let's make that two. And then make that uh make this four over here if i do decide to maybe make this three you'll see that it does come over in the side over there what i've got is i can either flip it so it'll run to the other side or if i actually do want this one to be in the middle i can say i want to use my mid plane so you'll see that it'll do a three with one on the right and one on the left okay so once that's done click on okay and there you got your pattern so okay quick and easy quite simple now what you'll notice over here is that it doesn't terminate all the way through onto that face. If I go and put on my wireframe, you'll notice there that it terminates on the edge over there. And that's not really what I want. I'd actually like it to terminate all the way on the edge. So let's go back to our rectangular pattern. I'm gonna right click edit that feature. And if I click on the bottom over here, you'll see I've got your optimized identical or adjust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the adjust command. And what it does, it will adjust so that it knows to follow that curve. So you'll see now that the hole goes all the way through over there. Okay. Now, uh, that's the one way of doing it. Another way of, of doing a rectangular pattern is actually what you'd call a pattern along path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, uh, this feature over here. And I'm going to say direction one is on that curve over there. Now, I want maybe five of these, and you can actually see how it starts to follow that curve. Okay. And then you've also got the option of spacing, so it's 10 millimeters apart. Distance, so the total distance that it's going to go, so maybe 60. So you'll see there between that and that is 60. Or what you can do is you can do curve length. So it actually will then use the, the length of the curve and push it all the way through. The nice thing about this is if I go through to the, the sketch over here, let's just go to the sketch, let's go ahead and edit this. So grab this and move it over here. And it will adjust accordingly. So you can see there um, how we are able to go quickly, um, you know, change the direction, um, either just by dragging the, the arc or um, you can go and put some dimensions in over there. Okay. Okay, so that's the one. And then this, you know, if you've never seen this before, um, there is also something called the uh, the sketch driven pattern. So you know it's you know what happens if you want a a sketch which is you know it's got uneven maybe it's a rectangular pattern but it's got uneven rows and columns. You know the distance between them, or it can just be absolutely scatterbrained. So over here you can see I've got some some. Uh, I'll just select over here. You'll see I've got some sketch points over here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this new sketch driven pattern. What it does over here, once again, allows you to choose either the pattern or the uh, the bodies. Let's say features will be this one over here. And then you'll see this sketch seven points and it's actually picked up that because the sketch is visible. It's picked up that I, I want to actually pattern on that. And it'll tell me there's seven points or left seven instances. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I don't know where the seventh one came from. Oh, sorry, <laughs> there's a seventh one over here. So it's, it's floating in a space. But never fear, that's, uh, there's no problem with that. Um, what we can do with this is I'm just going to go and edit that sketch. Uh, let's go see where that is, sketch two. And with the sketch, I can go and just drag this back on there. So 
very quick and easy either by dragging it you'll notice there how my sketch pattern um, adjusts okay so basically uh, you know if I take a look at this we'll just see let's go bring this down over here you'll notice there how through my rectangular pattern I was able to punch all the way through those holes over there um, as well as follow a curve and then you know not really a rectangular pattern but it's a sketch driven pattern able to do some random sketch patterns over there thank you very much for watching